the guinea pigs are here. All right. From Lancaster. Yeah. So we got a couple of um, concerned volunteers and concerned emails and social media messages about a Craigslist ad that went up for free guinea pigs and it looked like a huge lot of them and they were just trying to get rid of them. Yeah. Um, so thankfully we had some awesome volunteers that were able to drive over and we've got them. This is the first batch. So these are just the males and the females are still arriving. Hi. Females and I think one or two more males are coming. Thank you. Great job. So, oh, these guys no, are... No. Look at that. You, can see you know, I was afraid of this. Bite wounds. These yeah. are bite wounds. Yes. All the boys were living together in a herd, and then some of them started fighting, so she pulled three of them away. Yeah. Um, and these were two that got beat up really bad. They're, they're young, I think. Yeah, they are young. Skinny. And they're all skinny. Oh, they are so They were an outdoor oh, pool with a dirt floor gosh. that she had these grapes on top of. They are so no skinny. No food or water in the coop. She's feeding them hay every once in a while. Um, so I don't know what they've been eating. I know she had a bag of lettuce there. That's all I saw for food. Now these How guinea pigs were listed for free. Who's gonna go and adopt guinea pigs in this well, condition? Yeah, these Well, guys... people who feel sorry that want to help, you know, and will take them because they are obviously desperate for care. And she got these guys in November. She has two other guinea pigs that she's keeping that she lets on the front lawn all day long. Yeah. And then only brings them in at night. I said, you got to be careful because birds will come down and because she lives out in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So. And she's like, oh, no, they're out there all the time. I'm, okay. You know what? Can I can't tell people what to do. Well, no. We can only clearly help go watch the videos. <laughs> and we can only hope that they will never have guinea pigs again. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's I just haven't gotten over the adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell me. Three more things. So you were the one who found out, right? My husband did. Yeah. So my husband found out, sent me the message, I'm gonna and I was like, turn That's close. this we way because of better light. Yeah. And <clears throat> I don't know. I messaged you guys not even ten minutes afterwards, and we're like, let's do this. And then, so what's the story? The lady, because I I've not, not sure. been part of the I know messages were going back and forth but I've been busy with other stuff so I didn't really get to hear the whole story yeah I'm not really sure it was posted in a guinea pig group and other people and this lady is like giving it. them away on Craigslist yeah, yeah for free which and, is scary and she said she had many so how many were there 15 that, that's total yeah. 15 yeah okay and those are the girls there's one boy and then the rest are girls and there's one boy okay hi Hello, this is like the second big group we're in, we're intaking today. Wow, you look gorgeous. Oh you look like a satin of some sort, are you? Well, we'll see he, when we take she out. She said that he was the bully. Oh, he's a bully. Oh, hi. So, like, yeah, the rest of the boys were okay together. Hey, are they all skinny? Uh, you know, they look okay. They look like they should have maybe had better food, but not bad. What's going on with that hat? putting your head up like that girls in the back there wow okay well yeah. let's get them inside let's do a little checkup on them you want to see this is the pen like this is the only thing that these are the boys and the girls are up here so they're that's so that's bad. how they were living yeah. um, and this is outside outside and just that one wire little thing separating the boys from the girls which so you at know, least they were separated but there, there was a boy yeah. in with them though he, he I, think said, so. right? I think so I think so I don't know. They're all siblings, I think. That's the satin. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, he is. Hi. Hi, pretty. He's you are smooching. so gorgeous. All the kisses. He is so beautiful. It's the boy, right? Yeah. This is the bully. Yeah, he's like a satin I don't mix. Think so. I don't think he's a full <laughs> satin, but there's definitely satin in there. Beautiful. Well, all guinea pigs are beautiful. Oh, yeah. They I like his white stripe. I've never met an ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exist. Okay. All right, so let's grab the, those boys with the really bad wounds. Okay. They look so miserable. Poor guys. My little man. So this is typical for a crowded condition where, I know, sweetie, it's okay, where they are picking on kind of the weaker ones, the ones that are, you know, easily to pick on, 
and that's what happens because they chase them and they nip at their butt. It's very common to have, and I'm going to expect to see some kind of a scabs on, on all of them actually. Um, so he was bit repeatedly on the same spot and his little brother as well. Very, very sad. Yeah, but you know, this good thing is this will make a really good recovery. And he's got them absolutely everywhere and he's very skinny too. I can feel how skinny he is, poor little man. Here, here. You two freaked out to eat? Oh, good job. Good job. So, Iromectin. I'm amazed that they actually don't have any ringworm or any parasites because usually that's, you know, that's what happens when they are so packed together yeah. and, and not cared for as uh, they should have been. So they are, let me see. What else you got? I got a jacket, little man. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I'm not used to being handled, I know. <laughs> I know, it's okay, stay there, stay there. Oh, beautiful teeth, beautiful. So he looks good, out, you know, aside from that really bad, bad wound there. These two wounds. And it's dry, so there's not much I can put on there. I'll, I'll put a little bit of something on there, but it's really not going to make a big difference because there's, the wound's already closed, it's scabbed over. But I'll just put on a little bit of this. Good boy. And lots of food, because he needs to put on that weight. Yeah, they're really skinny. Yeah, they're very skinny, these guys. Okay, good boy. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. And then this is his little friend. So, are his worms? Their their ball is so huge. Yeah, this is, it almost looks like a little. It's, it's dried, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not scabbed over as the other one has. Yeah. Hey, little baby. How are you? Did you hear any sneezing in the car? The None. Very chatty, though. Oh, that's no good. Sneezes. No sneezing. That is great. No eye boogers, either, that I saw. That is great. You're going to be back to normal in no time, little guy. Just feeling for more scabs. Often these get infected. These are um, abscessed underneath the scab, but not. Let me smell. I can smell if, if it's a, infected. Yeah, if there's like a puncture awesome. wound that, I mean. that is in, that is infected. I can smell it, but he doesn't have. No, because I can totally smell. It's very distinct smell. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet guy. And this is just regular neosporin that I'm using. Guys, he's beautiful. He's pretty guy. Hey, you beautiful. Yeah, he looks smiley. So yeah, like I said, he's got one too. He's got all the scabs. So all of the boys were together. Yeah, like I think they should. They probably will all have those scabs. So I just feel like this, and you can feel them, and they're always on the on this area, always on the bottoms. They chase and nip. Yeah. Aww. I don't know if I can show you. But definitely, you can feel it. 
sweet guy. Actually, it doesn't look bad, but you know, here it is. Here's some. Yeah. But there's these little scabs all over. Nope. People always laugh at me for smelling the guinea pigs. <laughs> I'm always smelling guinea pigs, huh, Steph? <laughs> yes. And, and teeth, too. Oh, yeah. Guinea I smell the mouths. So he's got little punctures in his ear as well because right. it's just the nature of, you know, the situation. So I got the male cages right Yeah, now. you're a good boy. You got the male cages. You're good to go. You look like a big daddy of some sort. You're a little bit older, but he's pretty young still, though. Actually, this may have been the, the big daddy because he yeah. doesn't really have any. He don't have any, really. Okay, great. So, I'm going to clean his little business down there because I saw a little something. Infected. A little something. Steph, can I have a little tissue from you? Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, boo. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, poor guy. So this is like the smegma that sometimes becomes this, this gummy-like substance, mm -hmm. like the stuff here. You see this? This is all the smegma, but Oh, oh yeah. Take off because it sometimes just dries up like this and it becomes almost like a little sheet, sheet, like a layer. But it's so soft, it's really hard to pull. It's, you know, it's like chewing gum. <laughs> He's doing good. He what a brave guy. He should do a little more and then we're good. So I have found that. They can get like a fungal fungus in the in these pockets. Yeah. Um, especially they have like this liner that you can pull off like like that or in pieces. That is definitely sort of fungus. Yeah. That can be treated with uh, actually just a um, regular antifungal medication. All right, buddy. That looks good. Good job. I already gave you the nectar. Yeah, I did. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I used to have a lot of scabs as well. Oh, my God. I love that color. Yeah, they're so beautiful. Something actually uh, I found interestingly enough in skinny males. Males that are haven't been fed properly, that are skinny and underweight, and they get this weird gummy like smagma substance that I need to pull out that's like gummy. It's really interesting, and he's got it as well. It's the same thing. It's really, really hard. So um, normally we, we, we clean the pocket out with um, with a Q-tip, but there's no way that this is not going to come off with a Q-tip. It's so thick. There. Good job. So had I not cleaned it, it would have just gotten bigger and bigger, and then more uncomfortable. Good job, baby. It's a good job. Good boy. Yeah, for sure. I just gave her some. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. You see how I'm holding him like this with that mm -hmm. little paw here? That gives me a lot more um, kind of grip on them as well. And he won't struggle as hard because he can feel that he's more secured as well. That looks pretty clean, actually. Do 
scabs too. But those are, I really don't want to worry about because that's just going to go away by itself. Good. As soon as they're in a the bigger enclosure, they're not going to be fighting anymore, then it's all good. What's going on with your little eye? It looks a little, it looks a little cloudy. Sore. See that? Yeah. Yeah. What did you got going on there? Maybe a little teramice. Let me quickly look under the lights a little better. I don't really see anything. Looks okay now. So I'm just gonna keep a really good eye out. No pun intended. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. Right. Good job. All right. Okay. So this is the last boy, and ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can really tell in the video, but it's sheen on his coat. That's the satin. Very uh, pretty. Yeah, Thirty days. Oh, what do you got? You got a tooth missing. <gasps> He's supposedly the bully too. Just got a tooth missing. So you're saying if you should move, I came two days later? Oh, well, that's yeah. no big deal. The length so 13, of the bottom looks okay to me. So that usually is going to just grow back by itself. Did you get a good Yeah. Look? Okay. So yeah, that usually will grow back by itself. Though in some rare cases, the root is damaged and it will not come back. But at this age, I, I have a feeling it'll come back just fine. But we'll, again, we'll keep a good eye on that because if it doesn't, then we're going to have to start trimming his teeth because that one tooth is um, likely going to keep growing as well. So normal healthy teeth don't do that, but as soon as there's an imbalance and there's a tooth missing somewhere or um, broken off, then that can definitely happen. Good boy. Can I feel your neck? Good job. Good job. Can you feel here? Yeah, he also doesn't he doesn't have that many either. So it's just two that don't really have any scabs and the other guys. Definitely. And in this one here, this is the one you were holding. <laughs> she was filming and she had a, she had a tuck in her, in her shirt. Hi, sweet pie. This is a little girl. Let me just double check. Yes, you are. Look at this little thing. Such a cutie. Yeah. All right, little Ivermectin. I reckon she's about three and a half weeks old or so. Um, so there were more babies, but they already got given away, huh? Mm -hmm. So how many total do you think she had? Uh, I'm not sure. She We saw the 15 that we brought, and then she had two more of her own, and then she said she gave some to family and friends. Okay. So probably five, six more. Good girl. All right. She looks good. Take your little teeth. Why your little teeth, Mommy? I'm sorry. I wouldn't be very happy either. They look good, girl. Yeah, a little skinny. They all look a little skinny, but that's the easy fix. Ready. So, there are more males, actually. <laughs> this is another boy. Let me take care of you, cutie pie. We're definitely brother to that other little girl that we just saw. And he's got the same thing. It's just a little bit, but it's there. And I'm not clipping nails because, curiously, the nails don't need clipping. They're all at a good length. So, I guess she did clip their nails. Maybe because they're so young? Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that helps, but usually at his age, they'll, if they they'll still need it. Clip, yeah, you'll see it. Yeah. 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 I was like, no, because I was like, where's your Wait. carrier? Um, yeah. I like to put a tissue here for any no, stuff that comes <laughs> out. <laughs> so in the meantime, Ursula, Megan, and Steph are real busy getting everybody situated.
same stuff, the gummy-like stuff. Look at that. Oh. See that? It's so thick. Do you want to come Horror close it? Because it actually it peels off like in a whole piece. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice and clean now. Yeah. So yeah, look at this stuff. And this is like I said, it's really hard. It's like it's oh, it smells awful too. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't smell it. And the reason is, the minute I do this, I already start breathing through my mouth. Smart. I train myself to do this, so I'm not even, and I'm not even aware that I'm doing it anymore. <laughs> I, I get caught sometimes when there's like a bunch of us doing health checks and I'm standing here and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, because, you know, I wasn't planning. I didn't, I didn't know that was coming. Oh, good boy. You are a very good boy. Okay. This guy, the big one. I'm a big boy. Terrible scabs, you know. Yeah. Terrible, terrible scabs. I know, Bubba. It's okay. So, yeah, it's really interesting how they don't have any mites and ringworm because when guinea pigs are stressed or in, like, a, in a, an environment that's a stressful environment or where they're not getting the right food and not enough of the vitamin C, they're, all that stuff can flare up. And uh, they can get it, they carry it with them. So that's the thing, they can, even the mange mites um, carry it with them and they usually just lie dormant until all of a sudden it's opportunistic and just jumps in there and infects the guinea pig. So they're lucky. But had this gone on a little longer, I think that we would have seen some other stuff as well. Good boy. What's up? No. Boy. Did I check his teeth? I think I did, but let's just do it again just to make sure. Good boy. His bro. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was good. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I if I slow mo that. He's spicy. Yeah, you feisty little thing. It's just cute little legs. It's okay, yo. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, no, he's not having it. Poor guy. It's all right, baby. Can you just check your teeth? Real quick. Real quick. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. He's clean. Wow, all of a sudden they got really quiet here. <laughs> because everyone's eating. Everyone's eating. <laughs> It's a noticeable quiet. I mean, you can really like, hey, wait, something's different now. <laughs> I love that. It's a great time of the day because they're all eating. It's just so peaceful and it's nice. All right. You look good, buddy. Okay, mama. Girl, yeah, you look good. You look very good. And this, of course, is ivermectin because I'm always assuming people know, but some people, you know, just this is the first time they watched a video of ours. So, ivermectin, which prevents lice, mites, and internal parasites. And yes, I should trademark that phrase because I say it so often. Drop on the ear, and it prevents all that stuff. What's going on with your little pixie? Mm, it's just the way the hair goes. Hmm. It goes forward and then that goes back so that it yeah. creates a little... Motorcycle glove. Yeah. Good girl. We're <laughs> done. So, we have space here. Here, follow me so we can see. Okay. 
her food in here right here. The ladies go right in here. Clean up this cage for them. Yay! There! This is so much bigger than what they had. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Oh, hi there. Hi, little guy. Hi. <laughs> you think they're the best. All right, it's three total. So two more to go from here. And then we have one more carrier of Oof. guinea pigs. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi there. You're pretty lady. Oh, I just took it out. These are blunt needles, by the way. But we just needed to get it out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. But because it's blunt, it's kind of hard to get it back in. There, I found the original opening. Okay, when well, you try to escape, she's like, come back. Does her bottom have something on it too, or is it just the way her hair is going? Let me have a look. Her bottom half, oh, on her feet? Uh. Yeah, this is the hair, but it's also very dirty, see? This oh, is all yeah. Clumped poop. Gross. Yeah, so that could be that one of them has soft poopies. Because that's usually what Bad happens diet. if one of them has a really soft, like, kind of cow petty poop or chronic soft poopy. Those are the ones that you stay stepping in and that get stuck. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Okay. Almost there. Okay. So I'm checking here for like any discharge or soft poop because this area is always supposed to be nice and clean. The minute you start seeing that, you know, pee is getting stuck or something, you definitely want to pay attention because it could be like a bladder problem or a bladder infection that can cause that. <laughs> Oh, come back. Come back. <laughs> They're all <laughs> at the same spot. They all start yelling. Good girl. She's probably like, I don't know, a year old? That's super young. <laughs> So, this one becomes. You fell in love! <laughs> see. Of course you did. You fall in love every day. You fall in love all over He's again. He's a sweetheart. You're very young. See if she'll start to do the sister's on wheel. The other side. <laughs> and this this toe is kind of missing. See this? Mm. It's like the end of it. Yeah. Is that ouchie? Let me see, Mama. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yeah, did you hear? Yeah. They've never been pampered like this. Well, I don't think they see this as pampering. <laughs> <laughs> I named him Ray Ray. <laughs> I like his white stripe. It's really important. Good girl. Okay. No. I think I'm going to start R.E.
That's a tell when nobody used to spell his R because that means K instead. Means what? K in Spanish. Oh, okay. It means K. Ren. 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 She's chatty. Okay. All right. Well, good. So you're yeah, relatively okay considering. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We we'll check them in, and of course that's not it because now the real work starts, right? Um, but hopefully we'll find them all at home. The boys have to stay for a little while. Obviously, we want to see if they don't develop anything, if they're healthy. We want to make sure those scabs clean, uh, clear up real good. The two with the really bad scabs, they're probably going to take two weeks or so before that's all nice and healed, but that will go pretty fast. Always amazes me how fast guinea pig wounds heal. Amazing. Um, so, and then of course the girls are going to go on pregnancy watch because they may be very well be pregnant. Uh, the lady did say that she kept them separate, separated, but you know, it's just so easy for a little male to just hop over or you know, want someone to escape and uh, that may not be counted as such, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, they're all going to go on hold and it's about two months that we put them on hold. So we are so full right now, but this is it. We can't take any more. <laughs> this is really sad because there's always so many more, but we can't take them all. We can't take them all.